Hi there, I'm Christine with Torrin City Cable and today we are hanging out at Sea Air Golf Course. Four! How can you beat this? You're right in the middle of Torrance, it's a beautiful ocean breeze. You can play nine holes in maybe half an hour, 45 minutes and get an introduction to golf, So, and it's cheap. Kurt Michael and his son Tyler have been playing here for years. I like the full shot, but sometimes you don't hit it right. What do you mean? When I was playing hole four, I hit it bad and I hit it past the trees all the way on to um, hole five. The pitch and putt course sits on six acres of land, with the longest hole being just 84 yards. It's kind of cool. Sometimes you have three generations in one family playing, which you can't really do on a big course, you know, because you can have a small child play with his dad and grandpa. Larry Johnson says he's worked here for 42 years, but this is the first time he's having to implement certain changes to keep visitors safe during COVID-19. Since the county let us reopen, we've had to go with their procedures. When they get to the counter, they need to fill out a waiver, which uh, is, is required. And then that waiver is also to have everybody's names of the people that played that day, so we can do COVID tracing if, if needed. The players have to uh, stick to only a foursome, no fivesomes allowed. Um, the putting green is closed. They're not allowed to touch the flag sticks, and so we have little foam at the bottom of the cup, so each player picks the ball up themselves out of there. Uh, we do rent clubs up here, so after they're done using those, we spray those down. Despite the new rules and regulations, Johnson says a record number of golfers, including many new ones, are showing up. It's been super busy up here all summer. Um, a lot of the kids can't do their soccer camps and baseball camps, so it's either the beach or Sierra, it seems like. The Women's League and the Seniors League are both on hiatus during this pandemic, but Seniors League member Gary Matsky invites me to a friendly competition. I try to come here at least several times a week because I'm not out playing big courses because my regular partners for the big courses are sort of staying inside with their wife and not going any place so this is all I got. <laughs> Gary says he's grateful to still have this option to play outside and isn't worried about the coronavirus while he's here. A little mask and a lot of fresh air and sun and I think that's more important to me. Yeah. Meanwhile the Michaels say despite some discomfort they are learning to adjust to golfing under the new circumstances. I hate wearing masks. <laughs> to tell you too, that doesn't bother him, but I hate wearing it, um, especially since I have a beard. That doesn't help. Um, but it is what it is, you know. We all got to do our part, right? This one isn't itchy, and I like it when it's not itchy. But sometimes when you just start wearing it, it you start to focus on the golf game and not really that it's itchy. The Sea Air Golf Course is open seven days a week and only closed on Christmas Day. I'm Christine Lee for Torrance City Cable. What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here. The coronavirus pandemic has rocked the world and of course has hit close to home for so many in various ways. But for one Torrance middle schooler, a rising softball star, she has found a way to persevere and hit a home run. Izzy Kakatian, here we are at Wilson Park, your home away yeah. from home. We are about six feet apart. We mm -hmm. are masked up. COVID has changed the rules completely. What was life like before COVID hit as a softball player, as a middle schooler, and now here we are in strange times? Yeah, these, these are very unprecedented times, but it, before all this happened, we were just back to back practicing, always nonstop. School was, you know, we were at our school, right? And it was just face to face teaching. And, but now it's, it's harder. Talk about the practice first and foremost. So the practices, they were um, five, they're five hours and they were always constantly, you know, back to back drills and scrimmaging. Now they have to slow it down a little bit, make sure that everything's disinfected, 
Um, everybody six feet apart, mask on. The good news about the parks, you can show up with people in your household yes. to do one-on-one -on -one stuff. So right. you and your father actually come here often to do that. We just make sure that we get enough work where so I'm good because we're gonna we do it every day to make sure that I'm always staying on top of everything. And they're usually like maybe one to two hours. Talk about your softball career. You're only 13 years old. You have a very, very long softball career. Start from the beginning, take me to where you are now, and you just played in the World Series Stadium <laughs> with your latest tournament. Well, I started T-ball, and it was called Sansei, and then my team was called Keikis. Then we went to Torrance Girls Softball League. Now I'm in the travel ball world and I currently play for USA Athletics. And just about two weeks ago, we just got back from Oklahoma City and I played in a tournament called the USA All-American and girls from around the country were chosen to be on a certain team and I represented Region 10 Blue for California. COVID sadly changed everything and all of the rules. Normally, you would have to try out for a tournament like this, but Correct. oh no, not this year. How did you actually get on this team? I love this story, actually. My coach, he actually got a call from the head organization it's called USA Softball, mm -hmm. and he said that I was chosen to be on the USA All-American team, and I was referred to from travel ball coaches around California. It was an amazing experience. Now talk about from getting picked to be on the team to then going. And the cool thing is you actually went to Oklahoma. During this pandemic, they actually organized this huge tournament. You guys flew on an airplane, yeah. COVID rules applied. So talk about the steps getting to Oklahoma in the pandemic. Yeah, we definitely needed to make sure that we followed all measures, staying six feet apart, right. constantly using hand sanitizer, washing our hands, and wearing masks, obviously. Yeah. The plane flight was kind of hard, but we made sure that we kept our distance from people. And then when we went to Oklahoma, it was harder to keep distance with everybody, especially in a tournament where there's girls from all around the country. Yeah. But we just made sure that we were cautious about ourselves and our family. At this year's All-American Games, you guys placed third, which is incredible. You have your bag here. The luggage tag is still on it. I'd love to find out what's in your bag. I, I always like to know what athletes have in their sports bags. I yeah. have my catches here. Of course. So I'm a utility player, yeah. which is um, positions all around the right. dirt. But I play catcher, right? And I just I love it so much because you know the catchers take control of the field. Are you a different person on the field? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> on the field, I turn I turn that switch on. You know, I'm beast mode on the field. And then when I'm off the field, I make sure that I always stay humble and just be sweet to everyone and nice. The NBA, WNBA, MLS, everybody has started their seasons in their own way. Even tennis has just started. Yes. So break down how softball has kind of got their game back. So at first it was very hard because fields were obviously closed because we have to make sure it's less than 10 for a gathering. And we it started very slowly and then gradually got to the point where we we're starting to get back into the swing of things. So obviously with the pandemic going on, how are you staying in shape? How are you practicing? Usually we practice at a place called On Deck, but since that's closed of restrictions right now, me and my dad, we stay in shape by just going in the backyard, hitting into a net with a few balls and fielding, throwing, catching, everything like that. We also come to Wilson Park to practice here on the side. Just me and my dad, we just do all the stuff that we need to do. Another thing you need to do consistently is your schoolwork. You are in eighth grade at Calais Mayor. How is virtual learning going for you? It was very hard in the beginning because it's not as easy as face-to-face -face learning with, people, with my teachers, but now I'm getting the hang of it and it's getting easier now that I know what to do. Now, as a student athlete, does it change your mindset at all? Yeah, in the beginning I was very nervous, but now 
I have a planner for myself just to keep on track. So I would do school from about eight to two, and then I go practice in the backyard with my father. So I just make sure that I'm always keeping it organized every day. What are the goals relating to softball? Oh. Varsity at South, yeah. what happens after that? There are many possibilities coming up in the future for me, but one big um, dream that I would really like to achieve is becoming a pediatrician. And that's actually gonna be really difficult with playing softball. And I would love, if I ever had the chance, I would love to play college softball. But one, the biggest goal that I'm trying to chase is becoming a pediatrician. That's amazing. So Izzy, what advice would you give to other teenagers in your shoes, other student athletes who are maybe struggling to find a good balance with family, schoolwork, which is virtual, and they want to get their sport on, but they don't know how to do it. What advice would you pass on to them? I would definitely say, because I know this can, this may, this pandemic and everything fitting into it may be very stressful at times, but I think just always find the light out of the tunnel and stay happy and just look on the bright side. Hi, my name is Terri Ann Farron and I work for the City of Torrance Cultural Arts Center and I'm here to let you know that we're ready to reopen anytime, as soon as we can. And in that light, we've implemented many safety features so that when you come, you feel comfortable to come on back to the Torrance Cultural Arts Center. We're ready when you're ready. Let's go take a look, come on. For now, it may be required for your safety to wear a face covering. Please be mindful of maintaining six feet between you and other patrons while at the Torrance Cultural Arts Center. We are implementing sanitizing stations in addition to the frequent cleaning of each room. Plus, we will be using the new sanitizing fogger for each room in between every use. Installed in the entry plaza on the concrete are floor decals to assist you with distancing when purchasing a ticket or waiting in line to enter one of our theaters. We will soon be open for tours of our facilities. Until then, remember reservations of any of our rooms, including the George Nakano Theater, the James Armstrong Theater, and our Pine Wind Japanese Garden, perfect for intimate weddings and petite events, are now being made. Thank you for taking the tour with us. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you soon at the Torrance Cultural Arts Center.